Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and hey if you're new to my channel hi I'm Sydney and I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button I am testing out the new Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette and I love it love it love it I did this nice warm eye with this purple brownish kind of color not really sure what color that is but it's in my outer corner I just loved it it's really cute so and these eyelashes I know I did not say it in the video but it's in a box like this, you can buy it at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens. No clue what they're called starts with a no, so you know what? Good luck trying to find them. Okay, so if you want to know how I got this look, just keep watching. Alright, so I already did my eyebrows and I primed my eyes, and now we're going to go into the palette. And the first shade we're using is Sauce, and I'm going to use this Anastasia brush. It came with my Renaissance palette, so. Now Sauce is going to be our transition color. So I'm going to have it in my crease. So with no additional product on my brush, I'm going just to blend it in circular motions upwards towards my brow. Okay, so the next brush I'm going to use is the Real Techniques brush in the number 203 and I'm going in with Cayenne. I said Cayenne, right? <laughs> I am. So now with this color, I'm just going to keep it under my crease, and then when there's no product, additional products on my brush, then I will start blending it upwards. Okay, so now for the next color, we're going in with Scorched, and I'm using my MAC 242 brush, and after I wipe some of the color onto the brush, I will spray it with some Fix Plus, uh, Fix Plus and then I will start applying it to my lid. Please tell me you're getting how great this color looks. Yeah, I hope so. Now with this color, I'm only taking it a third of the way to my eye. I won't bring it all the way down because that's where I'll put the next darker color. But this color is amazing. Now going in with the brush we used, our very first br brush, I'm just going to go back and forth and blend it where it connects to my crease so it's not so harsh. Harsh, harsh, why can I not talk today? Okay, so now with a more tight, dense brush, we are going in with ashes and I'm just going to put it in my outer V right here just to make it more smoked out. Okay, so now for under my eyebrow, I'm going in with chaser and We'll see how that looks because I don't want oh it's like nothing nothing it's not it's white okay we're gonna go in with ounce it's the lightest shade in the palette can't talk so now moving on to my eyelashes I'm going in with the better than sex mascara from Too Faced and this is the waterproof one and I'm addicted to this mascara. All right, so now I'm gonna pop on some eyelashes and I'll be right back. <laughs> For my foundations, I'm going with the HD stick and then I'm going in with the IT Cosmetics and this is the pink one, so I think this is the one with the glow in it, you know? So we're gonna mix both of these. And what I do is I draw two lines on each side, a line in the middle, on my nose, on my chin. Then I put two pumps on the back of my hand with this one, and then I go in with a beauty blender and I just start blending. Okay, so now for concealer, I'm going in as usual with the Tarte Shape Tape. Tarte Shape Tape. Again, can't talk. So it's going under my eyes, forehead, chin, and nose. And then just with the same beauty blender, I'll just blend it out. Okay, just to set all that concealer in, I'm going with the RCMA No Color Translucent Powder on my damp sponge and just putting it everywhere where the concealer is. So now for setting powder, I'm going in with the Kat Von D um, powder. Hold on, I have these. <laughs> Woo! Alrighty. Brow still. Okay, so now for setting powder, I'm going in with the Kat Von D uh, setting powder in translucent, and I'm just going to take it on this big fluffy brush. It's the Wet and Wild one. It's just it doesn't have a number on it. It just says Wet and Wild.
We're going to move on to bronzer and I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Colorcon. Yeah, Colorcon bronzer and it's in the shade 740 Bikini Contest. And the brush I'm using is an e.l.f. complexion brush. And then just to clean up that contour, I'm going back in with that RCMA powder and my damp sponge and then I'll just clean it up. Okay, so now for blush, we're going in with the Milani uh, powder blush and tea rose and the brush I'm using is my Morphe E4 brush. So moving underneath my eye now, I'm going in with this flat brush and I'm going in with Hi Anne. If you heard that, that's my mother. Don't say that. Now with my Anastasia brush, I'm going in with the opposite side now. So it's the short little fat chubby side. And I'm going in with low blow. And I'll just blend that with Kanye, Kanye. Whatever. See, I can't even remember the name. Cayenne. Thanks, Mom. So now that that's done, we're going to do my inner corner, and I'm going in with MAC Nylon, because that's the only color I like for my inner corner. It's the only thing that I always come back to. Because it's so freaking gorgeous. Oh, I need to take off that powder underneath me, so wipe that off real quick. All right. So pretty. So pretty. I'm going to put some Maybelline eye gel underneath my eye on my waterline because I can't think right now. And just because my eyes like to water all the time and this black stuff likes to move to my outer corner eye and my inner corner I'm going to set it with some black powder and then the color I'm using is if I can get this open is this black shade and it's called last night and it's from Ulta <laughs> it's from the brand Ulta too all right now for mascara I'm going in with the Mac and Selena collaboration mascara that will be done for the eyes. That will be it for the eyes. That will be it. All right, so now for highlight, I'm going in with the Laura Geller highlight in Diamond Dust. It's the Bake Gelato Swirl. And I'm taking it on my Anastasia A23 brush. All right, now I'm going to mix that highlight with the Becca Prosecco Pop. Get it open looks like this my nose highlights Cupid's bow now just to make that pop a little more I'm going to spray some fix plus on my brush with nothing on it and then I just like to tap it over my highlight all right now I'm going to set my eyebrows with the Anastasia clear brow gel Okay, so now for the last step, we are going for the lip, and I'm using the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in Lady Be Good. And if you guys have not bought one of these, you're missing out. This is my favorite matte lipstick. Now I'm just going to spray my face with some Urban Decay All Nighting Setting Spray, and that'll be it. Okay, so that's it. This is the completed look. I hoped you liked it. And if you guys want to see anything else, please comment down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Cayenne. Cayenne. I can't remember this name. So now moving down. <laughs> Highlight. How much much longer do I have, Mom? Thirteen. Cool beans. Highlight. Don't you have a? I'm gonna go. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you like it. Just kidding.
Can't deal with it. Hot. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs>